If you were to go and talk about Bitcoin with someone, one of the questions that they might go and ask is that of who really invests in that? Because the perception of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies is that of people on the internet randomly going and investing in it because they think it can make them rich. And to be fair, there are some people who fit that mold, but not all. In fact, over the last several years, major corporations have decided to go and invest in Bitcoin in surprising amounts. And now, one of them has gone even bigger on that investment. Allow us to show you MicroStrategy, the Bitcoin's biggest corporate investors, raise holdings to $5.4 billion. More investing. Data analytics firm MicroStrategy, which owns more Bitcoin than any other corporation in the world, announced another big investment in the world's largest cryptocurrency on Tuesday morning doubling down on its staggering commitment as the nascent market recovers from a $1 trillion crash this year. In a regulatory filing, Virginia-based MicroStrategy disclosed it purchased approximately 3,907 Bitcoins for about $177 million in cash, or $45,294 per coin, between July 1st and August 23rd. The company helmed by millionaire Michael Saylor says it now holds approximately 108,992 Bitcoins purchased for slightly more than $2.9 billion, or an average price of $26,769 for each Bitcoin. With Bitcoin prices floating at about $49,250 recently, MicroStrategy's massive investment is worth more than $5.4 billion, a sum that's up 7% over the past week and nearly 30% since a month ago. The firm used proceeds from a June stock sale in which it raised nearly $180 million to buy up the additional Bitcoin this quarter. Many of its prior investments have been funded with debt. MicroStrategy shares, which tend to ride Bitcoin's volatile price wave, ticked down 1% in pre-market trading. But they've surged nearly 10% over the past week as the value of the world's cryptocurrency soared a staggering 19%. Though the value of its cryptocurrency investment has swelled, MicroStrategy posted its biggest quarterly loss ever last month of nearly $300 million as a result of Bitcoin's nearly 40% crash in the second quarter. Confirmation? Saylor, who Forbes gauges is worth roughly $2.5 billion, said the organization's developing speculation reaffirms the firm's conviction that Bitcoin, as the world's most broadly embraced cryptographic money, can fill in as a reliable store of a significant worth. He's since multiplied down on that responsibility a few times. Subsequent to posting its huge misfortune last quarter, Saylor promoted the organization's effective obligation offering in June, after which the firm bought an extra $489 million in Bitcoin and said he means to keep conveying extra capital into the digital money. MicroStrategy claims more Bitcoin than any traded on an open market organization. However, in its namesake, Bitcoin Store, Speculation Administrator Grayscale possesses 654,885 tokens, worth more than $32 billion recently. Stocking up. This isn't exactly a new thing for MicroStrategy, as we've alluded to, because over just the course of this year, they've gone and made big moves to get more Bitcoin, including liquidating stocks just to get more coin. We rotated our shareholder base and transformed ourselves into a company that's able to sell enterprise software and to acquire and hold Bitcoin. And we've done it successfully with leverage, Saylor said earlier this year. That has increased the power of the brand by a factor of 100. We just had our best software quarter in the last 10 years last quarter. He added, noting total revenue was up 10% year over year. The Bitcoin business is driving shareholder returns. I think the employees are happy. The shareholders are happy. At the time, they were happy, at least. But as noted, they've taken some hits. But that appears to not be stopping them from going all in even further 
And they're not the only ones. Coinbase. Recently, the head of Coinbase, CEO Brian Armstrong, made a blog post specifically explaining what his platform was going to do in regards to crypto in the near future. And it's a big move. We believe in the crypto economy, a future where economic transactions, buying, selling, spending, earning, will be based on crypto assets. Our products strive to make that vision a reality by making crypto trusted and easy to use for customers around the world. Today, the majority of Coinbase corporate financial transactions, such as how we pay our vendors, employees, or invest corporate cash, remain heavily weighted in fiat. We're in a strong position to lead by example and double down on how we can enable crypto adoption and utility, starting with how we operate our business. Towards that goal, we are announcing a change in our investment policy. We have committed to invest $500 million of our cash and cash equivalents into a diverse portfolio of crypto assets. Going forward, we will also allocate 10% of the quarterly net income into the same portfolio. This means we will become the first publicly traded company to hold Ethereum, proof of stake assets, DeFi tokens, and many other crypto assets supported for trading on our platform, in addition to Bitcoin on our balance sheet. Our crypto asset investment allocation will be driven by our aggregate custodial crypto balances, meaning our customers will drive our investment strategy. Our investments will be continually deployed over a multi-year window using a dollar cost averaging strategy. We are long-term investors and will only divest under select circumstances, such as an asset delisting from our platform. All trades will be executed via our over-the-counter desk or away from our exchange to avoid any conflict of interest with our customers. We may increase our allocation over time as the crypto economy matures. We believe that in the future, more and more companies will hold crypto assets on their balance sheet. We hope by incorporating more crypto assets into our own corporate financial practices, we can take another step towards building a more open crypto economy. So that right there is two big companies going and saying that they're going to do what they can to ensure that cryptocurrency grows and expands in a major way. And believe it or not, even banks are getting in on this. Citigroup. Citigroup is actively recruiting traders to begin working with Bitcoin futures, according to a new Coinbase report. The report, citing two sources, including one within the bank, says that Citi is angling to trade Bitcoin futures contracts on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. A source familiar with the situation told Coindesk that Citi's trading operation could begin with Bitcoin futures before moving on to other products like Bitcoin exchange traded notes. The bank is currently awaiting key regulatory approvals for a crypto trading desk based in London, according to Coindesk. But Citi denied parts of the report. We are presently considering products such as futures for some of our institutional clients, as these operate under strong regulatory frameworks a city spokesperson told Insider in a statement. Given the many questions around regulatory frameworks, supervisory expectations, and other factors, we are being very thoughtful about our approach. In May, Goldman Sachs began offering certain clients access to a Bitcoin via a derivative called non-deliverable forwards. According to Bloomberg Law, NDFs let holders bet on Bitcoin short-term price direction while getting paid in cash rather than Bitcoin. Goldman hedges the bet by buying or selling Bitcoin futures on the CME. The firm is not in a position to trade Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency, including Ethereum, on a physical basis, Goldman's crypto trading head said in a memo obtained by CNBC. Despite the conflicting reports, we do know that other major banks like Citigroup are trying to make platforms such as Pure Digital to go and make it easier for their customers to go and invest in crypto. And if they start going and investing in the product themselves, that's a big deal. Big names, big investments. The reason that these three companies especially are getting a lot of attention for their investments 
and plans for Bitcoin and beyond is simple. They're big names. And they're really going all in, in their own ways, to try and make crypto something for the masses. This is a stark difference from where we were a few years ago, where it was believed that big businesses, let alone things like banks, wouldn't dare touch the digital currency. But as you can see, things are changing. And if they keep changing, digital currency might just become more mainstream down the road. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at MicroStrategy and how they've gone from just investing in Bitcoin to having billions in it? Do you think that this is actually a smart strategy? Do you think they're ahead of the curve because they've seen the potential that Bitcoin has in the future? Or are they in way over their heads? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time.